Hi, this is Anita with Five Minutes with Heart. If you ever do like a Google search or you do Google Trends and you look up and you see, what are the artists that people are searching for the most? It might surprise you to find that the one name that comes up time and time again is Leonardo da Vinci. I find this so fascinating because Leonardo da Vinci has been dead for hundreds of years. But yet, as an artist, he continues, even in today's world of the internet and Google trends and searches, he continues today to be one of the most popular artists that ever lived. So you might ask, what's the allure with this artist? Why is he such um, a great artist? You know, and actually, when you look at it, he didn't paint that many works of art. But yet, the Mona Lisa, which he painted, which is in the Louvre Museum in Paris, is one of the most viewed paintings in the world. Think about that for a moment. Here is a painting that was done hundreds of years ago by an artist that lived hundreds of years ago. And it is one of the most viewed paintings in the world. In fact, the Louvre Museum has said that people go there just to view the painting and don't see anything else. So people are going to the Louvre just to buy a ticket to wait in the crowds to get a glimpse of the Mona Lisa for maybe what they maybe they're 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then to leave again. If you think about that, that's amazing. You know, so Leonardo da Vinci really was a Renaissance master and genius. That even today he is considered to be such a popular artist. You know, he was born in 1452, and he actually had very modest beginnings. But he, he was an illegitimate son of a, of a notary man, and so he did have a little bit of maybe help in life, but not so much because he was the illegitimate son, and his mother was a simple peasant woman. He was able, though, to get an apprenticeship with a renowned artist, which began to ignite his journey onto art and science. You know, some of his major accomplishments, of course, are, which would be two of his most famous works. And I'd like to point out again, if you look at artwork, which is the most searched in the world, you will find these two are definitely on the top, you know, 10. And probably within the top five would be the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. So not only is he one of the most searched artists in the world, but also his artwork continues to be some of the most popular. Of course, the Mona Lisa is extremely popular. The whole thing about her magnetic smile, is she actually smiling at you? Is she winking at you? This really showed he was a master of the human anatomy. What a lot of people don't realize is Napoleon, for a long time, had Mona Lisa in his bedroom. So I always like to think about not only what is she smiling at, but what did she see? Because... Boy, she probably saw a lot being up in Napoleon's bedroom during that time. I would imagine she saw things that she probably doesn't wants to tell us, but isn't able to tell us. His other great painting is of the Last Supper. And of course, the Last Supper is surrounding, if you've been listening to my podcast, a lot of different legends. You know, there's a lot of folklore that goes with the Last Supper. One of my favorites is, though, and I don't know if this is really a folklore, but I could see this actually being true, knowing of having studied about Leonardo da Vinci, about the rector of the monastery where he was painting the Last Supper. And, you you know, Leonardo da Vinci was notoriously slow. He was a slow, slow painter. He would come and paint for a day and then disappear for days and come and paint. And I guess the rector was getting really, really upset because it was taking so long. It was in their cafeteria. You know, you can probably understand. There's, you know, you've got this artist working. You're trying to run this monastery. You know, you've got paint. You've got the smell of paint. You've got all of this going on, and then yet he's not showing up. And, and what you know, probably they thought would take months is now taking years, and it's dragging on and on and on. And the rector complained to Leonardo da Vinci, and he said, well, if you, if you don't be quiet, I will paint you as Judas. So I don't know if that's really a true story or not, but I could see that actually being a true story, having studied a little bit about him and his life. 
you know, so Leonardo da Vinci, he died in 1519, died relatively young. He was in his 60s, you know, but yet at the same time, he still today is this great artist, which is very, very popular. If you'd like to be able to read more about him, the bio, a little bit more about his biography, you know, have read a quick blog about his biography and learn more about him. We've written a blog entitled The Bio of Leonardo da Vinci, a Renaissance Master and Genius. We'd like to thank you so much for joining with us for Five Minutes with Art. We hope that you'll subscribe and you'll become part of our community because we'd love to have you be part of our community. We are all about learning about art and realize that art can make you smile. Art should make you happy. Thank you so much.